Alright guys, since you seem to enjoy the, uh, the programming uh, videos I put up, I figured tonight I'd do one, since I have a couple of these, on a um, Kenwood TK8180 UHF uh, mobile radio. And I uh, figured I'd show you guys uh, how these guys are programmed. And uh, that's what this video is going to be about. How you program the uh, 8180, TK8180. So, if you want to hang around and see for yourself how these are programmed, then by all means, stick around. Okay, so first off, to do this TK8180, uh, the older version with uh, no firmware upgrade or anything like that. Basically, you're looking at Kenwood programming software, which is KPG89D. And the programming cable I'm using is a Kenwood KPG-46U uh, programming cable for this uh, for this radio. Okay, boys. So that's the program KPG89D. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to read from the radio. But Obviously, you want to set up your uh, COM port to make sure it's the right one. In my case, it's normally uh, COM2. So what we do, we just click read and you'll read the current information that is on the radio. So you just click this, this box will pop up, and then you just click read, and away she goes. So you'll see program come on the screen when she's reading as such. And when she's done, she'll do that. So she has 444 flat on it. Um, you can add basically any tone, CT, CSS, or the uh, DQT encoding. You work on receive and transmit either or. You can change your channel name here to basically whatever you want. You can call it 70 centimeter. You can put exactly what uh, what it says for frequency if you want to put that there. You can do that easy enough. Of course, you set your high power, low power. She's got high or low. Her low is 5 watts, and her high power is 25 watts. Um, you've got a uh, media, geez, wide and narrow bandwidth. You can set the radio to scan if you got multiple channels in there. Uh, she got optional signal of DTMF, two tone one, two tone two, two tone three, two tone four, or fleet sync. So she's, uh, she's not too bad. So if I just want to take any change I just made and program it into the radio, you just go up here and click right. And then she will come up with all this just because the firmware hasn't been updated. So I'll just we'll do the firmware now in a little bit. But just click OK. And then she'll start writing. And you'll see program on screen. And when she resets, you should see 444.000 megahertz. And there you go. It's that easy. Now, um, then you have optional um, optional features. Um, this is where you can change your, you know, change your display. You can set her up. She can have a clock on it, date, month, mic sensitivity, high or low, LCD brightness. Um, you can go to a bunch of different little settings you can do. Common two, if you want to put a message like your call sign, you can either put a text there and put your call sign. In which case, mine. VO1MDS. 
that's what happens when the radio, uh, when you turn the radio on first, she'll show VO1MDS on the screen, and then she'll sh go up to your channel. So basically, that's what that is. Or you can set her up the clock, in which case, when she turns on, she'll show the time. And you again, you'll set the time over here in 12 hours or 24 hours. So if you want to program that, program that into it, you get that box pop up, just ignore it, click OK, radio starts right again, just should show the clock now when she boots up. Nine o two p.m. Four forty four flat. So there you go. Uh, so you got comment three. There's a bunch of bunch of little like you know setting stuff you can do. You got uh, PTT ID if you're using the uh, DTMF or or Fleet Sync. You can use your uh, you can set uh, ID to whatever the radio is. You got multiples. You got a busy LED. You can have a PTT relay, a release tone. Um, trunking. Optional board you need for that one. GPS, same thing. So we'll just click close on that. If you want to change your key assignment. And basically what key assignment is, is each individual button here, doesn't matter which one it is, but these guys here, you can set these buttons here up to anything basically you like. <laughs> so, we'll go to key assignment, panel which is from the radio, so of course I'll just zoom in here so you can see. Get left up. So you can set your left to any of these uh, any of these features. So a lot of different features. Normally for uh, left, I would normally set that to channel up. I'd set this one to channel down. Um, I'll turn that off. I'll turn that off. And then you're right up and down. I've set that to volume up and down. And then you just write that to the radio again, as you did before. Click OK. Radio programs. Any changes you just made, she will do it after she reboots. So right now. Volume, channel, I only got one channel in it, but, and, so, and those buttons are turned off. You know, one feature that a lot of fire departments use, uh, not locally here on UHF, but more on VHF, uh, they use these mobile radios for painting systems. Or variants of them, like Homs, Kenwoods, whatever, and they use two tone, which is just sitting right here. So, we're going to show you how to set up two tone. So, we got two tone one, that's you can just call it whatever name you want, we'll just call it two tone one. And of course, you enter your first tone here, your second tone there, right? This is your transmit. So your encode. Now if you want this radio to decode um, two-tone, uh, say two-tone one, 
you click do two tone and you to put your tones in. Right. And you want alert tone, or if you want the radio to transmit after, here's a message. Then you got two tone two, two tone three, two tone four. I never ever use these, but two tone one is a pretty basic one. But that's for decoding. But if you just want to send a page to fellow amateurs, then we have a whole, basically a whole list of, uh, of tones, and if you got groups of friends, and if you want it to, whatever, then you can send up to 31 different, or 32 different sets of uh, two-tone. So if you got uh, one long tone, then it'd just be a single tone, and two of these tones here would be the same but you'd be you'd be sending the first tone which would be 321.7 you can't change the second tone because the second tone won't be sent it just transmits 321.7 hertz so I'll be using two tones and obviously you set it to no And then she'll send two sets of tones, which is then you can change both of them. But, uh, how you get the radio to actually send a two-tone, well, where again, you go to your, your uh, key setting, and you set up a button here, one of these buttons. Say, we'll go with the square, just for devilment. And what we do... We set that to two tone. So what happens? We'll program the radio again. Just okay. Radio will program. Basically what you do to send a two-tone code after you set it to your square you need a microphone for this I've got a microphone on it but basically you'd hit your uh, your square two-tone would come up and you key your radio just with your PTT mic just click it she'll send her tone and when the tones end then you send your message talking to the mic say whatever you gotta say and that's that I sent Okay, so now I'm going to update the firmware on this radio. Uh, DK-2170 SH01 real blah 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 blah. Checksum 3CA7. So now we're going to rate the new firmware to this radio. And while this is being done, don't turn off the radio. Don't hit any buttons. Do absolutely nothing. Just let radio do its thing. Okay, so one thing we have to program the radio before we can do a firmware uh, upgrade is you have to check mark firmware programming. Firmware version information, firmware programming. So we have to make sure that's clicked and then program it to the radio. Okay, so to update the firmware with F Pro. Uh, Turn off the radio. Uh, then you press your S key while turning the radio on, and it should show program eleven five or one one five zero zero or one one five two zero zero. Right. All right. So now she's actually in firmware programming mode. So. What you go now is go into F Pro and click right on the firmware program and then this LED here should start blinking. There we go. And PG up here blinking. So the radio is currently programming. I'm now pro pro
program a new firmware to the radio. Takes about a minute and a half maybe to do it, a couple minutes. She's at 25% uh, there now. And uh, if she were if the she takes the firmware, she should so a checksum of zero three five Charlie. Zero three five C should come up under the display here. So she's at fifty percent. And again while she's doing this Make sure you don't press any buttons or turn the radio off. Just let the program do its thing. That's 65%. I'll move there. Seventy-five percent. Eighty-five percent. Ninety-five percent, and she should come on the screen. Check some zero three five C if we're successful. There you go. Some equals zero three five C. So the radio has now been updated to the latest firmware. So we just turn the radio off, and turn it back on. It should load up and be ready for action. So now with the firmware updated on the radio, when you go to write the radio again, there should be no error screen come up anymore. She said right and she should just do it automatically. And there we go. All the all the errors are now gone. So this radio has the uh, the newest firmware. And we can check this. I go up to tools, transceiver information. So we have a firmware checksum surfer version or firmware version 1.22 checksum 035C. There you go. And that is how you program the Kenwood TK8180 as well as do a firmware upgrade. Hope the video is of use to you folks. Another radio coming up now to do another one up. Not sure I'll do it tonight or not, but it's on the ICOM uh, ICF50V, which I'm sure some of you may be interested in seeing. Anyway, folks, all the best, and we'll chat later. Like 63, we're out of here.